another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Uh, Juan Francisco Estrada, a gallo, uh, decisions, chocolatito. Was it a robbery? We're going to get into all that, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media. Um, hit the thumbs up button, share with a friend, hit the bell icon, all, all that good stuff. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, remember, twice a day, every day, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news and rumors from around the world. Um, it was a great fight tonight. You know, you can't say that it wasn't. It was a tremendous, tremendous fight between uh, two future Hall of Famers in Estrada and Chuck Latino. Um... Probably the front runner for fight of the year, you know, though it's only March, but I mean, I can't think of any fight better than that. And it, it was a great night of boxing. Um, it, w w the day kicked off, whatever you want to call it, late last night with the Rung Visai fight, and then we had the PBC card, which I'll cover later. And now we have this card, it w and the you know, you had the Austin, Austin Amber Williams fight, which was a great fight, then you had um. The, the McCaskill fight, which was a great fight, and you had this fight, which was the best fight. And it lived up to expectations. And, and the kind of decision that you got kind of dampened it. And, and, and I want to start with this. I said a um, week or two ago, I guess it was two weeks ago, with the uh, Anthony Durrell fight. You can find enough rounds. You can find enough rounds where if you want to, and you're looking to score rounds for Anthony Durrell, that you could have scored that fight for Darrell or, or, or scored it even. So I don't like to use the word robbery. I, I don't like to use that word because, again, if you're really looking for rounds in that fight to score for Darrell, you could have got there. Um, I, I, I'm recording to the, the Kieran Davis fight, right? I thought Kieran Davis won. I thought, you know, it was a very close fight, a good fight, but I thought Kieran Davis won. I, I thought Chuck Latino won this fight the same way. I think, okay, they were close rounds, and I said the scorecard should be interesting. Um, 117, 111 is wrong for uh, a guy. Oh, I had it 116, 112 in full disclosure. My cards, you can find it on Facebook or Twitter. I have a list of my cards, you can find it round by round. Uh, 117, 111 is wrong. I, I, again, I, I don't want to call it a robbery. Because that would discredit everything Estrada did, and he did great work. Chuck Latino did more, and he won more rounds. I, I thought Chuck Latino should have won the fight. I thought going to the scorecard, Chuck Latino won the fight. I thought, you know, he had done enough to remove any doubt. Um, and it kind of dampens the night of boxing. Um, because it was a great fight, but the wrong guy wins, and it kind of takes back from how good that fight was. Talk, it, it, this was a legacy fight, right? And now it, it leaves more questions than answers. I mean, am I wrong? Do you guys disagree? Put it in, in, in the comments, the chat. Let me know what you think. Uh, did you guys think that Estrada won? I haven't talked. To, everyone thinks it was a great fight. Everyone thinks it was close. Everyone thinks um, Talk Latino won. Did anyone in there score a draw? Which I can see. And did anyone go even further and score for Estrada? Which I think now you stretch it. You could probably, if you really want to make an argument for Estrada getting seven rounds, I mean, you're going to start overlooking things and nitpicking things. Maybe you can get it. What? Nine to three is ridiculous. I mean, you can't. That, that's not a realistic scorecard. That's a terrible scorecard. Yeah, you know, and, uh, and I want to make this analogy. You know, Hagler, who we lost tragically, and, and uh, rest in peace, champ. It's tragic that we lost Marvin Hagler. It's a tragedy. Um, his last fight against Sugar Ray Leonard, which he won, and he loses a split decision because one judge's scorecard was ridiculous. That's what we got here today. We got um, 
one judge's scorecard who was absolutely ridiculous in the 117 111 in an otherwise close fight, which the right guy probably didn't get the call. And it was just, you know, it, it was like reminiscent of what Hagler's last fight against Leonard, where one judge got it so bad and so wrong that this is what we're left with. God rest Hagler, so he was an amazing champ. Um, but that, that's kind of how I feel about Salt I mean, you can't score that 117-111. That, that is such a bad scorecard. Uh, and it happens to what was a great fight. I mean, I, over 2,000 punches again. You know, each guy landed a ton of power shots. Great work. Both guys, there was an ebb and flow to the fight. You know, th there was great action throughout. And, and now, hopefully, we're getting... Look, either way, we're getting great fights. We're either getting Estrada versus Rung Visay, three, or Estrada versus Chocolatino, three. You know, I, I think whoever doesn't win, right? Like, like whoever doesn't get... Whoever Estrada doesn't fight should fight the winner of Franco and Maloney next. I think that's a great fight, right? So let's say Franco wins, Josh Franco wins. And um, you get this fight. The third, you get the trilogy. You get the chocolate. I'm sorry, they're both going to be trilogies. You get the Chocolatito Agayo trilogy. Rung Visay should fight Franco. Or if you get Rung Visay and Agayo three, then you should have Franco versus Chocolatito. But, uh, or if, if Maloney wins, substitute Maloney's name in. But he's not going to win. Josh Franco's going to win. Um, but I, this 115 is a really interesting division right now. There's a lot of ways you can go with this. So, I, I, it's just disappointing that and if you would have had a draw, that would have sucked too because you don't get, you know. But a draw I can live with. The 117-111 scorecard deciding this fight is so outrageously bad that it dampens the whole night. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the 117, you know, 111 score card was just an outlier. Like, all three guys scored it for it. And this was the one that turned a fight. And it's unfortunate. You know, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the media score cards. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the judges' score cards, which I haven't seen yet. But uh, Chocolatino and Algayo are both legends. Uh, hopefully, we get to do this again in the next few months before the end of this year, definitely. Um... But let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please leave your uh, comments. Uh, leave your scorecards. Leave your total, your final scores in the, in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we'll be back later to break down the uh, Benavides fight um, with Rashidi Ellis, which is another fun fight. Uh, Benavides looks like an animal. It's going to be a problem. Um, it is March 13th, 2021. Um Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Speaking of great little men, uh, let's make that chase. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.